Hello everybody, myself Ankur Patel and today we are going to discuss about the isometric projections. So in this first session of isometric projections, we will go through the basics of isometric projections. So isometric projection is one type of axonometric projections. So let us first of all discuss about the axonometric projections. So what is axonometric projections? So axonometric projection is a type of pictorial projection in which all three dimensions of an object is shown in one view and there are basically three type of, types of axonometric projections one is isometric projection second is diametric projection and third is trimetric projection in isometric projections the all three dimensions of the object are shown in isometric planes or by using the isometric in diametric projections, the all three dimensions of the object are shown in diametric planes or by using the diametric planes. And in trimetric projections, the all three dimensions of the object are shown by using the trimetric planes. So let us first of all discuss about the isometric planes, diametric planes and trimetric planes. So these are the isometric planes, uh, diametric plane and trimetric plane. So isometric planes are the planes which are equally inclined to each other and the ang angle of inclination between each plane is 120 degree. So in isometric planes the horizontal plane, vertical plane and profile plane are inclined at the same angle and the angle is 120 degree. Whereas in diametric plane two planes are equally inclined to each other and the third plane. So right now you can see that uh, these two planes are equally inclined to each other that means alpha is equal to beta and uh, lambda doesn't equal to alpha, it doesn't equal to beta. Whereas in trimetric projections, the trimetric planes are uh, not equally inclined to each other. That means all three planes are inclined at the different angles. That means right now in this trimetric planes, alpha doesn't equal to beta, doesn't equal to lambda. So isometric drawings are done on isometric planes. So let us first of all discuss about the types of isometric drawings. So isometric drawings are of two types, isometric, isometric view or drawing or isometric projections. So what is the difference between isometric view or isometric projection? So isometric view is drawn by using a true scale. That means by using the given dimension. Whereas isometric projection is drawn by using the isometric scale. And the, isometric, the dimensions in the isometric scale are reduced than the actual dimensions of the object. So let's try to draw the isometric view of a cuboid having length LMM, width WMM and height HMM. So first of all we have to draw a baseline and from this baseline we have to draw a line inclined at 30 degree on both sides which will shows us the isometric axis and now we have to draw a line perpendicular to this line. So these are the isometric axis and all, by using this isometric axis we have to draw the cuboid having length element with WM and height H. So we will observe the object from here. So we will take the front view in this direction. Mm -hmm. So we have to uh, show the length of the cuboid on this axis. So this will be the length of the cuboid. We have to uh, sh show the width on this axis WM and we will show the height on the vertical axis. Now from this point and this point, draw a line perpendicular to the baseline or parallel to this line and having length equal to HMM. So draw a line which will show the height of the cuboid. Now go at this point to this point, which will be equal to the length of the cuboid. This point to this point, which will show us the width of the cuboid. Like this, draw a line parallel to this line from this point and draw a line parallel to this, this line from this point, which gives us the isometric view of the Cuboid. So by using this particular method, we will draw the isometric view or isometric projections of the object. For that, we have to uh, draw the isometric axis first. Now let us uh, discuss about the isometric projections. So in isometric projections, uh, we will draw the same figure by using the isometric scale or isometric dimensions of the object. For that, we have to draw the isometric scale first of all. 
So how can we draw the isometric scale? So for isometric scale, first of all draw a base line. Now from this point draw a line inclined at about 30 degree. It is like AC. Now draw another line from this point. Incline at an angle of 45 degree. Line AD. On the line AC we will show the isometric line and on the line AD we will show the two dimensions of the object. So let us uh, uh, try to draw the isometric scale having length equal to 4 cm. So for, first of all uh, mark 4 cm on this line AD which will show us the two length or two dimensions of the object. So mark 4 points 1, 2, 3, 4 having 4 cm. Now from this 1, 2, 3, 4 point, draw lines perpendicular to the baseline AB. Draw lines perpendicular to the baseline AB. The intersections of this line to the line of to the line AC will give us the isometric length of this 4 cm. So here 1 dash indicates 1 cm, 2 dash indicates 2 cm, 3 dash indicates 3 cm, 4 dash indicates 4 cm or isometric length of 4 cm. So if you want to draw the isometric projections of the object, first of all we have to draw the isometric scale like this. So here we have uh, shown 4 cm on the isometric scale length. <coughs> so isometric length will be equal to 2 by root 3 into 2 length or it will be also equal to 9 by 11 into 2 length or isometric length is equal to 0 0.816 into 2 length. That means uh, this length of the object is converted into 0 0.816 into n or reduced by into 0 0.816 into the true length of the object. Now let's try to draw the cuboid by using the isometric projections. For that the length of the cuboid will be L into 0 0.816. So if you want to draw the isometric projection of this cube, the length of the isometric projection of the cuboid will be equal to 0 0.816 this length of the cuboid W will be equal to 0 0.816 into W and height of the cuboid will be 0 0.816 into H that will mean that means the all dimension will be of reduced length or of isometric length so first of all draw the baseline and then after draw the isometric axis incline at 30 degree to the baseline uh, we will show the height on the vertical line which will be perpendicular to the baseline. Now observing from this direction that means we will take the front view from this direction. So uh, show this length that means 0 0.816 into this length on this line. Now we will show the width on this line W that means 0 0.816 into W. And we will show the height on the vertical length or vertical axis. So an edge will be equal to 0 0.816 into the height of this cube. Now draw lines parallel to this line from this point and this point to show the height of the cuboid. Now connect this point to this point, which will be equal to the length of the cuboid. Connect this point to this point, which will be equal to the width of the cuboid. Now draw line parallel to this line from this point. Line parallel to this line from this point will give us the isometric projection of the cuboid. The only difference between isometric view and isometric projection is in isometric view we have to use the true dimensions or true scale. In isometric projection we have to use the isometric length or isometric scale. Now in isometric projections or isometric view the most important thing is how to draw the isometric view or isometric projection of the circle because the isometric view or isometric projection of the circle is not a circle it is an ellipse so let's try to draw the isometric view of the circle draw isometric view of a circle if it is a front view or top view so in isometric view or isometric uh, projection of a circle is not a circle it is an ellipse so we will use the four center method to draw the circle in isometric view or isometric projections so we have to draw the isometric view or isometric uh, projection of the circle for that first of all mark the center of the circle and from center draw horizontal diameter and a vertical diameter that means we have to show the center line passing from both one is a horizontal and vertical center line 
and from these points we have to draw a square or passing from this point we have to draw a square so draw a square passing from the, this point of the circle so this square is a square ABCD and these points are P, Q, R, S so first of all we have to mark these points on the given circle and we will try to draw the isometric view of this circle so before drawing the isometric view of the circle we will draw the isometric view of this square and isometric view of this square will be a drop pass so first of all draw so first of all we will draw the top view of the circle so for that draw the baseline and draw the square on the isometric axis which are inclined at 30 degree to this line and this line or 30 degree to the baseline so we will show the length AB over here inclined at 30 degree we will show the length AD over here inclined at 30 degree and from this point we will uh, draw a line parallel to this line from this point and uh, from this point we will draw a line parallel to this line over here so we will get the isometric view of the square which is a rhombus now first of all draw the diagonal of this rhombus that means we have to draw diagonal BD and diagonal AC because we are going to use the four center method so first of all we have to draw the four centers to draw the arc of the circles or to draw the isometric view of the circle so for that first of all we have to connect the diagonals of the rhombus after marking midpoint of each side of the rhombus point so this is p q r s we have marked p q r s now to mark the four center to show the four center of the circles first of all connect a to r a to q connect c to s and c to b and mark the intersection point of c s and a r over here this is m and a q and c p over here so these are the two centers and another two centers will be at A and C. So now taking center at A and radius is equal to A to P. Draw the first arc. Now take second center at C, radius is equal to C to P or C to S. Draw another arc. Now we have to take the third center. So take this third center at M or N. So take the third center at M. And uh, it is equal to M to S, give an arc over here. Fourth center at N, it is equal to N to Q or N to P, draw the R. So this will be the isometric view of the circle in the top view. Now let us try to draw the isometric view of this circle in the front view. So for that, first of all, draw the baseline. And after drawing the baseline, we will draw the isometric view of the square. For that we will take AB and BC inclined at angle of 30 degree to the baseline and AD and BC perpendicular to the baseline. So draw the isometric view of the square by taking AD inclined at angle of 30 degree, sorry AB inclined at angle of 30 degree and AD perpendicular to the baseline. And after drawing this isometric view of the square, now draw the diagonals or show the diagonals of this formulas that is AC and BD. After showing the diagonals, we have to mark P, Q, R, S. For that, we will mark the midpoint of, midpoints of A, B, B, C, C, D, and P, A. So, mark the midpoints. So, this is P, Q, R, S. After marking the midpoints, now we have to mark the four centers. So, the first center will be at T. Now, another two centers. For another two centers, we have to connect D to Q and D to P. So the intersection point of BQ and BP to diagonal AC will give us the another two centers. So one center will be over here, another center will be over here. So M N will be another center, and the fourth center will be at B. Connect B to R and B to S. So these are our four centers: D, B, M, N. Now take center at D. Radius is going to be D to Q. D and R. Take center at B, radius is going to be to R, given R. Now, we have to use this point M and N as the another two centers. So, take a center at M or N and given R, radius is going to M to P. Now, take center at N, radius is going to M to R, given R. So, this will be our isometric view of the circle in the 
front view. Now let's try to draw the isometric view of the cylinder by using the four center method to draw the circle. So draw isometric view of the cylinder standing on HP having axis at 80 mm and base circle diameter of 60 mm. So if you want to draw the isometric view of the cylinder having axis at 80 mm and diameter 60 mm, first of all we have to draw the square prism having side of base 60 mm and axis at 80 mm. So let's start with the square prism. So first of all draw the baseline and from the baseline draw a line inclined at 30 degree this direction. And from this point again draw a line inclined at 30 degree to the baseline in this direction. So on this line we will show the line, on this line we will show the width. So right now the length and width of this square prism will remain the same. So we will go to 60 mm. So mark uh, show the length of this square prism 60 mm over here. 60 mm over here, width of this square prism, and from this point show the height of the square prism. Now from this point and this point, draw lines parallel to this line and having length equal to 80 mm. So from this point draw a line. Having length is equal to 80 mm and parallel to this line. This line is perpendicular to the baseline. Now I'm going to this point to this point and this point to this point. This point will give us the length of this square prism. This, this side will give us the width of the square prism. Now from this point draw a line parallel to this line and from this point draw a line parallel to this particular line. So we will get the square prism. Now by using this square prism, we will Draw, uh, draw the cylinder and uh, as we know that in the top and base of the cylinder we have a circle of 60 mm diameter so we will start by drawing the circle in the top view or in the bottom view so in this top line first of all we have to draw the circle so for that first of all in this round box we have to mark the four centers of the circle and if you want to mark the four centers of the circle, first of all we have to draw the diagonals of this compass. So draw the diagonals of this compass. Now mark the midpoint of this rhombus. That means mark the midpoint of all the sides of the rhombus. So mark the midpoints by drawing a line parallel to this line from the center of the rhombus. By drawing a line parallel to this line from the center of the rhombus. So we get these four points. Now, if you want to mark the four centers, first of all, connect this point to this midpoint, connect this point to this midpoint, connect this point to this midpoint, and this midpoint, and mark the intersection points, which will be as the two centers over here. So, right now we have four centers one is over here, second is over here, third, and fourth center. So, by using this four center, we will draw the top view or top face of the cylinder. Which would be a circle having diameter is going to 60 mm. So now, for, uh, by taking this point as the center, which will be our first center, and radius is going to this length, the midpoint of this side or this side, draw an arc, take center at this point, and radius is going to this length, give an arc. Now, take center at this point, radius is going to this length. Give an arc. Take center at this point. This is the four center. It is for this length. Or is it in the midpoint of this line? Give an arc. Will be the top face of the cylinder. Now apply the same method at the bottom face over here. And draw the base of the cylinder, which will be also a circle. But right now the circle is an Ellipse. So here we have to apply this particular method. Now connect this point to this point and this point to this point will give us the cylinder. But in, if you are observing the cylinder from this direction and this direction, this edge of the cylinder doesn't going to be visible in the isometric view. So we have to remove this edge of the cylinder. So this is the final isometric view of the cylinder. So you have to follow this particular method if you want to draw the asymmetric view of the cylinder. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lecture. Till then, take care.